happen with My Name is Earl? My Name is Earl was picked up for another season, and then the the the, the way TV works is there's a, a studio that owns the property and pays for creating the property, and then it's licensed to a network. So mm -hmm. our studio was Fox, and the network was NBC. And the network is responsible for picking it up. They call and they say, we want to license the show for another year. And we were a hit. Massive. I love that show. And the network called the studio and said, we want to license the show for another year. And the studio said, well, we want more money. We want to change. We want to renegotiate our deal with you. Um, and the network basically did not respond for two weeks. And then the studio called back and said, we'll take your deal. And the network said, too late. Really? The show is canceled. Yeah. Why? And no other network decided they wanted to come in? and There was almost going to be like a 10-episode thing on TBS, and then that fell apart. And, it, and it's just... I, I, out, of, out of all, I, Firefly, the community came together and, and got that one tied up. I mean, you had community, the people came, the, com the community, community came together. Now they're having another movie. Is there any hope whatsoever for My Name is Earl to actually... I have no hope. Oh, that sucks. I, you know, Greg Garcia has mentioned it to me a couple of times. And said, like, would you do it? I said, I've always said, yeah, of course. Um, but then when he broaches it, Greg Garcia created the show. Sure, when sure. he takes it to studios to talk about it, there's no interest from them. That saddens me deeply. Yeah. That saddens me. When people ask, like, what we're big Sopranos fans, when people ask, what is the most frustrating final episode of a series? And some people say Sopranos. Some For me, it's always My Name is Earl. Really? It's the most frustrating. Well, because, I mean, it wasn't meant to be the series finale, no. right? No. You know, and, 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 and we had been guaranteed another season. That's why it was left on. Like, Greg Garcia is a yeah. great guy. He never would have. And the finale that he had planned was awesome. It was incredible. Are we allowed to talk about sure. it? Sure. What What was gonna? Who, who's all right? Was Earl the father? That I, I that I don't know, and that's kind of irrelevant. That was the cliffhanger the great created, but the finale was going to be Earl. You know, in the course of crossing off his list, there was going to be an episode where somebody shows up at our motel door, wherever, finds us at the bar, and starts to make amends to Earl for something. And Earl's like, "What are you doing?" And the guy's like, "Well, I have this list." And I got to, I f you over whatever, and I have to make up for it. And Earl's like, holy, f he has a list too. Where'd you, how'd you figure out the list? And the guy says, well, I talked to, this guy told me about it, so I learned it from this guy. And Earl goes back and finds all these people who have lists, who are out there trying to do good, and it all comes back to him. He was like the, the beginning the of this. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, that would have been an awesome, awesome episode. <laughs> wow. We got to get a kickstarter Fuck. together or something. How much money do we need to raise uh, just for one more episode here? What do you figure? I think it was back then. This is 15 years ago. It cost $2 million an episode to make. <laughs> Oof. What's this is Mickey Gall right what size here. What ballpark we playing <laughs> in here? <laughs> what do we need? That's, what is that, about three? That's three rounds for this guy. Yeah. He's good to go, man. We just make the check out to uh, Jason Lee, is it? Or 